Hello, I'm Larry Forsyth, Senior Manager of WHS and HR Consulting with the Australian Business Solutions Group. Today, I wanted to talk to you about bullying and harassment in the workplace. Just in case you're not aware, on the 1st of January 2014, new legislation was passed through the government and all workplaces now are accountable. What's been happening in Australia over the last few years, and it's cost some $6 billion, is that there are unaccountable cases of bullying. What this means for you is that you must have very strong and robust policies and procedures in place around bullying and harassment. People must be trained, especially managers, in how to manage bullying in the workplace, and that what happens in the workplace is reported. In case you're not aware, under the Fair Work Act, it's very important that all your staff are aware of the new legislation and my team and myself can support you around embedding that message. What's most important is the fact that if someone is bullied in the workplace and the interpretation is that it's repeated, unreasonable behaviour, not performance management, then that can be classified as bullying. So, for your information, it will be important for you to remember that if someone is bullied in the workplace, they can actually bypass you as their manager and go straight to the Fair Work Ombudsman. There is a time frame in when that must be reported and at this stage, as part of the legislation, organisations must respond to a bullying claim within 14 days. In terms of bullying, recently we worked with an organisation that identified that there may have been some bullying actually happening on the shop floor. As part of our investigation, we worked with the CEO, the senior management team, and some of the operational people on the ground. To cut a very long story short, and for this video, it's important that you understand that these things can take some time to investigate. In this example that I'm talking about with you, is that we actually found out that the CEO of the organisation was the biggest bully of all. As an outcome of this bullying situation, we coached and mentored the executive team and we saw the communication increase right across the organisation, up and down and back and forward. And what we saw as part of our final evaluation was that the communication had certainly improved. 